Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you some clarification about SSH key inside your YubiKey because uh, there is some sort of confusion on what is supported and what is not supported, especially if you're going to compare your basic security key with the most uh, powerful YubiKey 5 security. If you look at the specification, the security key series, the smaller one, it is not supporting um, AD25519 uh, and, and so you can incorrectly believe that you cannot use it for anything regarding SSH and this is not true. And I'm making this video because I got it wrong on the first time and I suspect that in my previous video I, um, I deal with something incorrect about SSH because from this from the documentation you can see um, what you can do for securing SSH with a YubiKey and clearly you have the PIV okay so the YubiKey 5 series and only the 5 series have the PIV module and that module is made for storing keys okay so the key is physically connected is physically stored inside your um, YubiKey, okay? And that is uh, the most secure way probably because the certificate is inside your key. But if you scroll down, you know, you can have PGP, but it's not important. And you have the FIDO too. So this is the thing that you usually do because with the newest version of the OpenSSH, okay, this added support for FIDO2 uh, security keys. And this approach has clearly the pro of being easy. You see on my previous video that it's really easy to generate a credential with this kind of functionalities. And it's configuration for both public and secure endpoint and uh, does not require a dedicated YubiKey for just SSH authentication, okay? You can use the same device with other FIDO2 web end service because it is the same FIDO2 credential. Well, the cons is it's not supported on Windows, but it's not true, it's now supported. Disabled on Apple by the builded, bundled version of OpenSSH. Okay, I don't know if this is still true because I'm using a very little bit Mac. And there's no credential management support, clearly, at, last, at the latest update of this page. But it is really simple to use. And it's, it is the way I showed you before in um, generating your, uh, your, your SSH key. And just to understand the difference, this is the real way in which you can use SSH with your PIV key, with your PIV keys. Okay, so th this is, it's gonna be valid only for YubiKey 5 and you need to generate a certificate authorities. You generate a key in the slot 9C. This is the slot of the Yubico key that is used to store certificate and you generate a key and sign a certificate and then clear the SSH agent. Okay, so you see, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated because if you looking at the securing SSH authentication with FIDO2, it's really, really simple, okay? And this is a way in which you are integrating your uh, SSH, login your SSH keys with FIDO2. Okay, so you have the, the greatest prerequisite is you have a new version of OpenSSH, but at the date of today, it is much, um, it, it is probably contained in all, all the latest distribution of Linux and it's available also on, on Windows. And this is the reason why you should use FIDO2. Uh, the private key securely generated and stored on the UBK. So the private key is really generated in the YubiKey and cannot be exported, but it's um, it's not the real certificate with the curve. It's only the private key. So you can have user present and verification, a user preference of policy. Um, okay, you have a credential file, you have a public key file pub, and it's the same thing as always. It's the public part of the key. And then the private key in this case doesn't actually contain the private key. It contains a key handle. So that's the reason why in previous video, when I generated credential on the key for uh, SSH, I tell you, you can even not putting a password for the private key because 
even if an attacker get access to your PC and get hold of the physical file with a private key, it does not contain the private key. It contains only an handle. So it, if the attacker has not the key, and, and, and the most important thing, he or she has not the pin, he cannot use the key. So this is the most secure way to secure your SSH. And this is a demo on how you can create your FIDO2 SSH credential with a standard Yubico security key. As you can see with the Ikiman info, I can show the information on my key. And as you can see, I have no OAuth, I have no PIV module because this is the basic security key, not the five series. But even if you have the basic key, you can still create your SSH credential. This is the standard command to create an SSH key inside your uh, YubiKey using FIDO2 protocol. So you can press enter. And uh, since I already use this key, this is a test key, I can simply overwrite the key in token. And now it asks me uh, to touch the key. Uh, first of all, the operating system is asking me authorization to access the key. I press OK because I'm going to create a credential in it. Then I have another warning. I can press OK, and then it asks me for the pin. OK, and now I can touch the key. And OK, passkey saved. You can now use your security key to sign into SSH. So I can press OK. I can uh, choose the file in which you want to save the key. So I can uh, say root dot ssh dot new key okay and i don't need a passphrase and the reason why i don't need a passphrase is because the file that is generated in my ssh folder is not the real private key it's just a placeholder the point to my key and so as you can see even if i have the basic Yubico security key. Even if you read the documentation, it has no PIV module. It can still use FIDO2 to generate an SSH credential for your key. And as you can see, I really have a new key, private key file, and a new key dot pub public key file that can be opened. Just to show that this is a, a standard standard key, and as you can see, it's SSH, ED, blah, blah, blah. So that is, uh, I've created my SSH key, even if I don't have a PIV module. And so you can use the standard Yubico security key for SSH. As a last reminder, since the SSH key is actually a FIDO2 credential, you can type the ikiman command line and FIDO credential list. It asks you for the pin. And then you have listed your uh, FIDO2 slot. You said I have one Google, and this is the previous demo, and then I have this OpenSSH key. So uh, you can really verify that your OpenSSH uh, key is indeed created inside the FIDO2 model. And that's all. Bye-bye.